What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here. In this video, we're gonna talk about five reasons you should be buying silver and five reasons you should not be buying silver. All right, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing in this video is going through some different silver collections that I've put together over the years. This is mostly um, coins and some modern bullion and things like that, but I'm just gonna be looking through them and kind of sorting them, but I'm gonna be talking about the five reasons you should be buying silver and five reasons you should not be buying silver. So if you are a new silver stacker, you're just getting into stacking or investing in silver, or if you've been around for quite a long time, I think there's something in this video for everyone. So let's start off with the five reasons that you absolutely should be buying physical silver. And number one is going to be long-term wealth preservation now this is one of the reasons that i buy physical silver and when i purchase silver i'm not purchasing it with the intent to resell in the near term like a lot of the silver in my stack i hope to keep for you know 30 40 50 years silver has a really good track record of maintaining its value over long periods of time obviously there's going to be short-term fluctuations in the price but long term silver generally goes up because when we look at silver against the dollar the dollar generally goes down over long periods of time with inflation and things like that so having your wealth in a different system other than the dollar is really important and silver is definitely one of the ways you can do that now the second reason that i like physical silver is because it's a great savings account and i have talked about this in videos in the past but when you're trying to save money it can be really difficult especially if you're having i guess cash in a savings account in a bank something like that because it's super easy to spend right you just hit a few buttons on your phone you move it over to checking and then boom it's gone so whenever i'm trying to save money i like to sort of put a barrier in place right make it a little bit harder to spend my savings and when you buy physical silver that's exactly what you're doing so you're converting your cash or your fiat currency into real money in the form of silver. And then if you want to spend this money that you've saved, you have to take it down to a coin shop or sell it on eBay or something like that. So it's not impossible to spend, right? I mean, obviously I could take this down to the coin shop, exchange it right away for some cash and go spend it, but it puts a little bit of a barrier in place. So it really helps you save. This really helped me save money. I mean, my whole life, I was never able to save money until I started stacking silver and it's it's incredibly fun right number three is no counterparty risk and this is a huge one so with physical silver you can literally hold it in your hand there's no other party that's involved with storing this wealth for you so the only risk associated with holding and storing your own physical silver is the risk that you may lose it or the risk that it might get stolen but other than that there's no other party involved but if we look at other types of wealth for example cryptocurrency there are other parties involved and they have to you know hold up their end of the bargain otherwise you cannot use your cryptocurrency so this may look like an exchange or an on-ramp which is allowing you to access your cryptocurrency if they're not working properly or if they're shut down for whatever reason then you don't have access to your wealth the same is actually true with the bank if you store money in the bank whether it be just online or in a physical bank it doesn't really matter with online maybe the website is down or maybe the bank is not allowing you to have access to your money and with a physical location perhaps they're closed they're on a banking holiday or something like that and so if you can't actually actually get to your wealth and use it what good is it right so no counterparty risk with silver is a huge win get ready for sd bullion's monster box sweepstakes that includes 500 silver eagles you could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this 
This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of Silver Eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. Now, the fourth reason to buy physical silver is for insurance. Let's say something goes totally sideways. Let's say the dollar collapses, right? In a currency collapse, you're going to need some wealth. You're going to need some way to buy food, water, barter, things like that. And silver is one of the things that you could use. Also, let's say you have a, I don't know, a medical emergency or your car breaks down and you really need cash. Well, if you have silver, you can sell it. It's liquid, right? It's money. And so it's really great to have if you need it. But if you never stack physical silver, then when you need it, obviously you won't have any, right? So it's one of those things that you should have for sure. I mean, it's definitely insurance. It's definitely one of the reasons that I stack it. And the fifth and final reason to buy physical silver is for retirement. Buying physical silver for retirement will definitely help you. I mean, it shouldn't be your only retirement. In my opinion, you should definitely diversify, you know, have other assets and things like that. But if you do have physical silver, then when you retire, you can obviously use it to spend as money when it comes to stacking silver for retirement a lot of us stack silver with the intent to pass it on down to our children when we die right but if you absolutely need it it'll be there it is money it is wealth so a lot of people do stack it for retirement and i will throw in one bonus reason to stack physical silver and that's because it's super fun it's really great to buy new coins and bars and actually get them in the mail or pick them up at the coin shop or however you're buying them so it's incredibly fun it's kind of addictive but that's definitely a reason to stack now let's talk about the reasons you should not be buying physical silver and reason number one is if you can't afford it now i know i've said everyone can't afford silver and yes i do believe that's true but if you're literally living paycheck to paycheck, you barely have enough money for food, you need to take care of your family first. You need to put food on the table, put gas in your car. I know price of everything is going up. So if you really don't have any extra money to put into silver, then don't buy physical silver, right? Buy the things that you need first. And the second reason to not buy silver is if you just want to get rich quick like i talked about before silver is great for long-term wealth preservation you know that's one of the main reasons that i stack i don't plan on buying some and then you know hopefully having the price shoot up you know four or five x in a few weeks or months or whatever and then selling it for a massive profit that's not why i stack that's not why most people stack and so if you think you're going to get rich quick off of buying silver I would really think again about why you're purchasing it. And the third reason to not buy physical silver is if you feel pressured. If you feel like the world is running out of silver, this is your last chance, and maybe you end up spending more than you should on silver, right? So if you feel this pressure to buy, like this is my last chance, I have to buy it today, just know that's probably not the case. I mean, I've been stacking for four years and things in the world have been getting worse and there is less physical silver to buy now than when I started stacking. Yes, because there's a lot of demand, right? But don't think that this is your absolute last chance. Don't take every penny that you have in savings and put it all into silver tomorrow. You should definitely have a better strategy than that. You know, dollar cost average, buy some this week, buy some next week, buy some the week after that. Don't spend it all at once. So if you feel incredibly pressured, you know, take a step back, think about what you're doing before you actually do it. The fourth reason not to buy physical silver is if there are better options. Now, when I say better options, I'm not talking about like stock trading or anything like that. I'm talking about if you live in an area where silver has a really high tax on it, or there's basically no silver to buy, but there is gold available to buy, then you should probably just buy gold instead. Maybe you buy a little bit of silver. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say you live in London. Now, they have a 20% tax on silver, right? It's called VAT. And let's say you go down to your coin shop and they tell you, look, you have this 20% tax when you buy these silver coins. You know, the premiums are also extremely high because demand is so high. And so you're really paying about double what the silver is worth. 
but we also have some gold sovereigns that we can sell you at spot or two or three percent over spot you know a really low premium gold option i would go with the gold option in that scenario you know i live in america and i can buy silver for a relatively low premium so i love to buy it and stack it but if i lived in an area where it was much harder to stack i would probably focus on something like gold because gold and silver both do very similar things although silver is more volatile so probably you know when it moves up it will move up faster i mean that's almost a guarantee but it's not to say you can't buy any silver it's just that you should focus probably more on gold in that scenario and the fifth and final reason to not buy physical silver is if you just don't have anywhere to safely store it i mean yeah sure you could bury it somewhere and make yourself a little treasure map but let's say you live in an apartment complex and you have roommates and lots of people in and out and you're worried about it getting stolen well that's really one of the only ways you can lose your wealth when it comes to silver is if there's theft right i mean i guess you could actually lose it let's say you buried it and you know the treasure map got burned or whatever and you forgot where it was sure you could lose your silver but really the only other way to lose your wealth is if it's stolen so if you don't live in a you know secure home then i would probably focus on that before you focus on stacking silver and hopefully many of us are already out of a situation like that you know we have a large heavy hidden safe somewhere where we can easily store our silver we know it's protected you know we have means of protecting our silver things like that so hopefully that's the case for most of us but i know it's not the case for all of us anyway those were my five reasons you should buy physical silver and five reasons you should not buy physical silver if you have any you'd like to add to the list please put them down below in the comment section i do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one silver dragons out